Hello everyone and welcome to SK Shadow. Today <laughs> we are <laughs> playing Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, don't do that again. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was abysmal. <laughs> but it's time to play. Yes, sir. So I hit a quick play and we're going to look for a match. Yes, uh, comments below if anyone decides to watch us goons. Um, <laughs> let us know what you think of the beta. Obviously, is very much unpolished, but mm. I kind of I kind of like that in a way. I mean, my opinion, it's pretty good, I think. I think yeah, multiplayer it, no. this year should be decent. You know Hopefully. what is actually a really bad thing I was watching on? Um, it's actually already hackers in the beta. Really? Yeah, that's because it's on the same engine as Modern Warfare 19. That was the main problem with that game and Warzone, is the hackers. Yeah. And when they released the update for Warzone to transition to this game, is when they're releasing the new um, anti-cheat, and it's unconfirmed whether they're going to put that onto multiplayer. Oh. Which is really, like, concerning. <laughs> We are playing patrol, whatever that is. Yeah, it's like domination, but the um, objective moves around the map. Yeah. Yeah, I'm currently playing this game on my PC with a 1080, and Adam is playing it patrol. on his Xbox. Yeah. And we're having to do some wizardry to make uh, an Xbox party and Discord work at the same time. It's not wizardry, it is just called mute and go in a party chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did the man know I was there? Especially in those Black Ops 2 days, I mastered that, like 100% in that game. Yeah. See, it goes to show what Call of Duties I really do enjoy, because the only two Call of Duties I've ever fully mastered, like maxed out, is Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2. You said you didn't really like Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Huh? No, 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 most people don't. I, I do. Uh, I do, yeah, I thought it was cool. See, a lot of YouTubers tend to like that one as well. I found Black Ops 3 was the best one, exploded. pretty much, so far. Well, not the best one, but I mean, like, I don't think there's been one better. Since... Or Black Ops 2. No, I mean, I, I don't think there's been one better since 3. Um, 2 and 1, I think, were better. At least 2. It's, hard to, but... it's kind of hard to compare, though, just because that was, like, EXO movement. It was definitely the best EXO movement one. Hmm. Uh, the only one that would probably rival it in terms of what the community would say is probably Modern Warfare 19, but yeah, there's a whole thing on people that prefer 19 over Cold War are like the opposite on everything. Yeah. So people that like Modern Warfare 19 and Warzone will love this game. Yes. And people that hated it will probably love it. Jesus, I do not know this map, I've only managed to kill two people. <laughs> like the actual general feel of Modern Warfare 19, nothing wrong with it. Uh, it was just a bad map design. Like, there's mm. so many bad maps. Like, that game was only fun because of shipment. Or well, shipment? One of the, almost like the Modern Warfare version of Nuketown. Alright. Like, it's a tiny little map. You're in like a little shipping yard, and it's all like full of containers, really small, tight map, fast paced, ridiculous. Like it's probably a tiny bit, probably a little bit smaller than uh, Nuketown. Alright. Um, and that's, yeah, that was just incredible. And it was only fun when they had like the uh, shipment 24-7 servers on. Or mm. lobbies on. Like the rest of the maps, I really couldn't care for. Because at the moment, Warzone's at like it's probably at its all-time low. Yeah. But when they update it, it'll go back to a high, and then they put an anti-cheat in and say it works. And yeah, I'm just kind of hope they don't neglect multiplayer. Yeah, I was never a big fan of Warzone in the first place. <laughs> I only ever really enjoyed it when they released the the smaller map, the rebirth map. Hmm. You always a bit preferred a smaller pace. maps anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're falling behind. I get the idea of people preferring like the battle royales to be like slow, tactical and mm. pick your loot wisely. Whereas I like to do that but 
have the action just there. Yeah, it's like you've said, you don't want to spend 20 minutes gearing up just to get killed and then have to do it all again. Yeah, by someone sitting in a bush with a sniper. Just like... Yeah, that's, that was the problem with PUBG. Plus the shooting on PUBG is awful. Yeah. Probably the worst uh, battle royale that's come out is uh, CSGO. Beginning with people loved it. Yeah. Oh god, yes, it's good. This go battle royale was an interesting thing. They still actually like update that regularly. Do they? Yeah. Do people actually play it? Mm, yeah, they do actually. Because huh. I stand the same with zombies in terms of if I hit like a decent round, I can't be bothered to loot up and do everything again. No. Like, with that replayability, like, multiplayer, you can just go straight back into the action. Don't have to bother relooting. You can just go and do what you're meant to do. Yeah. It's not like an actual chore to set yourself back up. No. I mean, it would be if your stats reset every time you died. <laughs> that would but be that's mad. not the case. Yeah, exactly. If you're looking for a good gun, actually, go to the default classes and select uh, the very bottom default one. Should be the BAR, that's a monster of a weapon. Is it? Yeah, really good. Watch it, stun grenade! Fuck a pin! Oh, Jesus. Come on. There's two on it, yeah, they're gonna have this. Oh, I'm off across the other side, nice, no, it's sad. Jesus. Honestly. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Could not kill anyone at long range at all. Oh, I, <laughs> I had a good game there. Couple of decent streaks. And I love the fact it's kill streaks. Yeah. And not score streaks. Just a recoil was all over the place. Yeah. Most of the guns have a butt and a recoil. Yeah, you can add like ammo types, so you like, can change like, say like in your STG, you can change it to like FMJ rounds. Mm. So it's all change from a 7.62 bullet to a 5.56 or something. Or have FMJ rounds, obviously go through walls better. Subsonic mm. rounds is a cool one. So it acts like a suppressor without having a suppressor on. Mm. This is a 14 versus 14. Mm. This is gonna be mad. Which oh deathmatch did you say? Yeah. The big map. I believe someone correct me yeah, if I'm lead. wrong. This is a remake of a World War Two map. <laughs> or at least it reminds me of one, but I We're falling behind. Yeah. We're in the lead. Come on, show yourself. Enemy they got me pinned. I want to go on an intense streak. <laughs> I say that a lot in my Call of Duty stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going on an intense streak, but, you know. You will have a streak where you can cue the music. You gotta do. You gotta do a me. Yeah. You gotta cue that music. Cue that funky music. Now, I put intense music on and then I just flop. So. Yeah. Exactly. That's how it works. What was my last COD one? Was that World at War or the? Oh, yeah. Was it World War Two? Oh. But you just don't even know. <laughs> I lose track of what I do to be fair. <laughs> I've actually had quite a few videos recently. Hmm. Does help nice. when you can't go anywhere. It's not having the time though. The main thing is when you've got a schedule full of work, is the time to record it. Time to edit is fine. Well, it doesn't take long to record though. 
No, I know, but finding the energy to sound mo like sound enjoyable well, after yeah. a day of work is sometimes challenging. <laughs> Whereas editing, I just you know I can just chill out, headphones on, ignore the world. Well, you can do it all downstairs now. You got a Mac. I do. <laughs> So surely there's so much distraction in your house that how do you manage to uh, still do it? We're not so bad now Chloe's disappeared. Hmm. The thing is, I suppose you could do that, but I was going to say in terms of football manager and whatever, like, I suppose having a Mac is the perfect thing for that. Mm. You know, like you say, it's, it's a bit of a, a time waster game. Like You're not really going to sit down at your gaming PC. To play football manager. <laughs> no, I got yeah. food. I sit yeah. there. You're not going to devote your time while but, I'm playing yeah. while I'm eating some food. Yeah. If you... Or if there's people over and I just want to. Yeah, if you want to be sociable, but you want to also get on with something as well, you can. Exactly. Try and bring Newcastle to glory. That's going terrible. They're, they're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the death machine is pretty ridiculous in this game. Is it? Well, yeah, it's like an explosive minigun. <laughs> Or just sniped me. Except it kind of hits like a potato. But... Not amazing, enough. No, it looks cool, but it like that just took like twelve shots, and I didn't even didn't even get a hit or a kill. What do you reckon zombies is going to be like then on this? Uh... This game. I don't know. Supposedly, if anyone actually follows the storyline to zombies, it's a prequel to how Cold War zombies started, which is technically World War Two. But I have no idea. Hmm. No idea, if I'm being honest. Treyarch are doing it, so that's all. That's good. Hopefully, it's not too easy. Zombies has a tendency of being mega easy ever since like Black Ops 1 now. Well, the final Cold War map was a little bit trickier. Oh, really? Once you've got Pack a Punch done, you can just. That's it, just find a spot to train and train. Just... I find with a lot of the maps, even in like Black Ops 3, it just depends how long you can be bothered to train in one area for. Hmm. It's like, survive till you get bored. Whereas World at War Black Ops 1, I'm forever like, thinking... Jesus Christ, am I actually going to survive this next round? <laughs> Maybe not so much on Black Ops 1 on some maps, but... Like 5, for instance, I would be. But I'm playing, like, Moon or Ascension, I'll be like, yeah, this mm. is fine. We all know how easy Ascension is. <laughs> Eradicate all threats! Ascension is fun though if you just want to waste a little bit of time and not get too stressed. You like know the maps are kind of like. easy when I'm the one doing Easter eggs. <laughs> I mean things like Ascension were obviously quite easy but the, the addition of the monkeys, especially if you do it by yourself, makes it that tad bit more involved at least. You can't just sit there and train for ages. Because at some point you're gonna have to go out and get your perks again. They're driving us back. Moon, you got the whole gravity thing, so you have to deal with that. Yeah, it's not really a problem though. Well, no. Kind of makes it easier. Oh well, yeah, but actually having to get that is a bloody pain. Not the easiest thing to get. Can't go around the zombies, so I go over them. <laughs> Other maps would you say are particularly easy? Uh, the Rise and Drac, piece of piss. Um, that's just as soon as you've got your bow sorted, you're golden. They are so good. I'd probably say Origins in a sense that once you set up again, the staffs are mm. really, really good. But actually and getting so set up is so to, to train in. <laughs> but actually getting set up. Is just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, Kino de Toads and easy. 
The, uh, the Black Ops 3 version of Narc Down Totem is quite easy. Even the Black Ops 1 version. Uh, the only easy World at War map was it Shino Numa? Yeah. That's the only, in my opinion, only real easy World at War one. Mainly because they have the advantage. of that one training spot in the swamp area, I think it is. I just noticed that we're not in the same lobby anymore. Are we not? <laughs> okay. I don't know why he does that. It just randomly kicks you out. Yeah, I'm currently in a 20 vs 20 death match. Yeah, so am I. On Gavu 2. So am I. Hmm. Where are you there? Oh. I didn't see your name. It's going to scroll up enough. Because you're literally the the top. Oh no, you're not. Huh? Oh yeah, you're the top by far. You've got 2,000 and the next highest have got 875. <laughs> what are you using now? The Thompson on the 19, whatever it's called. I that's one you have to put as a, your own loadout. No, it's in the default. Oh, what one is it then? Because it's the very bottom default. That's the bar. Yeah. yeah, that's what I used last game. No, I said, what do you use this game? Oh, right, no, the 1927, if that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. It should be there somewhere. They have called it, yeah, the night. oh, the 1928. Oh, yeah. 1928. It's only the 1927. Where? Oh, there at the top. The SMG. Hmm. Interesting. You've got like 50 mags for some reason. 50 bullets in the mag. Yeah. yeah. I was quite shocked that it, by default it comes with <laughs> a drum mag. Hmm. It's a bit mad for an SMG, but. <laughs> Well, thank you all very much for watching. Like Adam said before, let us know if you've played the beta and what you think of it. You know, I think it's pretty good. But, uh, I like it, personally. Once the full game comes out, there'll definitely be the zombie content on the channel. <laughs> I should hopefully have enough money to buy it by the time it comes out. So. <laughs> Mine's on pre-order, so... Mm. I've got it. But other than that, that's it from me. Yes, it is. Good night.